folks who are over the age of 50 have a recidivism rate of just above zero, just above zero. Um, and that's not only also true for people who've been convicted of violent crime, it is especially true for people who've been convicted of violent crime. Right, now. you're not talking about like Mr. Madoff here. You're talking about a no, different kind of crime. I am not. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about violent crime, right? I'm, yeah. I'm really specifically talking about that. Um, folks who, actually, folks who commit murder who have served more than 20 years have the lowest, some of the lowest recidivism rates across the incarcerated population. And to be clear, recidivism rate doesn't mean you're going back for another murder. It means you're going back for anything. It means you're going back for anything. Yeah. It means you're going back for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Because people really do age out. And, and, um, and that's why in other places, the longest the, the longest prison sentence that anyone really gets for anything is about 20 years because other countries look at the data and they say, okay, well, this is what the data says. This is what we'll do. Here in the United States, we've really gone in the opposite direction, right? We've really embraced sort of retribution and punishment above other values. And what that means is that we currently have um, about just under 1,500 people serving natural life sentences which means they will die in prison and they have no way out. And we have another about 4,500 people serving at least 50 years or longer. And we um, is the whole country, the state of Illinois? What's, oh, no, no, no. That is the state of Illinois. That's just, just Illinois. the state of Illinois. Just the state of Illinois. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so for that reason, um, we have, because folks who have very long prison sentences get old, right, in prison, um, when folks in prison get old, their health care costs go up and up and up mm-hmm. and up. Um, just as their risk of possibly harming anyone goes down and down and down and down. And so we have a we have prisons that are turning into nursing homes here. Um, and the cost of that is tremendous. The the director of the Department of, Je- of Corrections um, just asked for one point six billion dollars to cover the cost of corrections next year. That's a mind bogglingly um, uh, mind boggling amount of money that mm-hmm. could be used on so many other things. 